Nicole, it's your 32nd birthday, and I want to give you a quick motivational speech on how to really make your 32nd year of life a success, all right? Because you don't want to be resting on your laurels and at age 33 suddenly discover that, oh man, you know, I wasted an entire year. You want this year to be the best one yet, so you need to grab it by the tail, pull it down, wrap it around, and put it in your pocket. You got to put your nose to the ground. You got to give it 110%. You don't want to be sitting there at year 33 thinking, I should have, would have, could have. And you know what that means? That means getting off your duff and riding. That's right. I said it. I went there. You need to go. And instead of using those papers like you did in Colorado for rolling doobies, you need to write out some sentence, put some paragraphs together, and get that thing published. We're waiting for a number one bestseller. I don't want any excuses. It's got to happen, or I'm coming after you. The, what I'm really trying to get at is you don't want to live a life of regret. You know, where are you headed? What are you going to do with your life? Because right now, I, I got to tell you, you know, nursing, really? Yeah, sure. Nursing, that's what you're doing. Making those medicinal brownies, peddling them on the street. Let me tell you something. In Oklahoma, you're going to end in, <laughs> in a van down by the river. You know, you're 32 now. You need to stop living by the same rules you used to live by. And this, you know what this means? That means open season on sass mouthing. You can sass mouth the president. You can sass mouth your mama. You can sass mouth anybody. Just let it go. You're 32 now. What are they going to do to you, huh? Take away your 31st birthday? I don't think so. Come on. So for your birthday, I'm going to give you an option. I can sign over the van to you right now. Or you can get your act together. But either way, I'm coming over. Because I'm tired of living in a van down by the river.